The age-old question, what do women want? Probably the most common techniques advertisers employ are attempts to play off of existing insecurities or to create new ones in order to sell us their clients' stuff. By doing this, they can position their clients' products as the solution you need and have been looking for. When targeting men, advertisers frequently focus on two main insecurities. The first centers around heterosexual male interactions with women, primarily fears of being unable to attract female attention, but may also encompass communication issues or relationship difficulties. The second focuses on social pressures for men to act masculine. In 2013, as in years past, these techniques were heavily employed. For example, the ad that started this video perfectly embodies the first approach. In an attempt to convince men to buy Gillette shaving and styling products, they ask models, that is, women who are supposed to represent the pinnacle of desirability, how hairy they like their men. This is Kate. She likes a man with a little hair on his chest. But definitely not on his back. This is Hannah. She likes a guy with a smooth stomach to show off his six pack. And this is Genesis. She likes men completely hairless. And no, she doesn't think that's weird. I don't. The Pro Glide Styler. Trim, shave, and edge. The one tool you need to get the look she wants. The night is yours. So pick a model, use Gillette to shave the way she likes, and she's yours for the night. Of course, Gillette isn't the only one to use these tactics. Take these ads for a clinic that treats erectile dysfunction, for example. Give them your money, and women young enough to be your granddaughter will be falling for you in no time. And here are some more ads that use similar tactics. Both Maxwell and Ted have hail damage to their cars. Ted is trying to get a hold of his insurance agent. Maxwell is not. He's on Geico.com setting up an appointment with an adjuster. Ted is now on hold with his insurance company. Maxwell is not and just confirmed a 5.30 time for Tuesday. Ted is still waiting. Yes. Maxwell is out and about, with Ted's now ex-girlfriend. Oh, to suffer with dandruff that keeps coming back. Women hate it. But now, sad man, you're saved by a new anti-dandruff shampoo. Clear Men, with mint, ginseng, and tea tree. Clear Men feeds your scalp and stops dandruff at the source. Ah, oh, look at him now. Admire the scalp. He's heroic. Clear Men. There was something about him. Something that set him apart from the others. He was different somehow. I was afraid. Then seduced. Then intrigued. Then in the car. I never had a chance. Nice car. Sure is. Make a deal with me, kid. You can have the car and everything that goes along with it. I think I got this. Set your soul free. While ads that targeted older men took the basic, use our product, get the girl approach, Axe, a product that is targeted towards teens and younger men, took a slightly different approach. The world is facing one of the biggest crises in the history of history. Girls are getting hotter and hotter. This is causing guys to lose their cool. It's happening everywhere. That's why the people at Axe have developed the new Axe Chill Collection. It helps guys keep their cool before it's too late. Girls are getting hotter. Keep your cool with the new Chill Collection from Axe. Assuming that teens and young men are less experienced and more awkward around women, Axe positions themselves as the solution to that problem in much of their advertising. There was a time long, when guys accomplished great things. 
Blue 42, hike! But then women everywhere began getting hotter. But it's not too late to keep your cool with new Axe Black Chill. Use our product and gain more confidence or get the girl are the most obvious messages being relayed in ads like these, but they're not the only ones. There are plenty of subtle messages about things like attractiveness, race, gender, socioeconomic status being relayed as well. I challenge you to pay closer attention to the full spectrum of messages in all the advertising you may watch. Next up are some ads that try and tell us how we should be acting as men. Are you just going to stare at her? It was weird. Good weird. She tasted like Doritos. And you just wanted to do it again. As gender roles evolve, men are sometimes confused about their role in society. Advertisers see this as an opportunity to position their product as the way to resolve this confusion. These Lucasau vodka print ads and the Dr. Pepper 10 and Dosa Keys ads you'll see next are examples of advertisers trying to do this using irony and humor. There's no such thing as no man's land to me. A man just needs a place where he can be wild and free. Dr. Pepper 10, manliest low-calorie soda in the history of mankind. <clears throat> Bold flavor. There are better things to fantasize about than teams of men. It's a chance for the wolves to uh, mingle with the sheep. If you're a sheep, my condolences. As you can see, the long-running Most Interesting Man in the World campaign has started giving out opinions that are at times homophobic and potentially threatening. Nonetheless, the James Bond-like, suave and worldly, yet hyper-masculine character has started to inspire imitators. Have an audience. Wow, we can all year war. Ah, do it. I don't get the chocolate. Have a disagreement. <laughs> Make up. All night long. Have a souvenir. Have a sensitive side. <laughs> Have some friends over. Have a second thought. Just don't have any regrets. Clairvo, have a story. These next ads skip the irony and humor and go right to something more aggressive. They basically call the viewer unmanly and challenge them to man up by, of course, using the product being advertised. Oh, hey, buddy. It's your great granddad here. In case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of busy fighting for your freedom in the Second World War. But now, you're using that freedom to hurl insults at celebrities on Twitter? Listen, hashtag, you're not gonna fight like a man. You at least shave like a man. Stop LOLing everything. I 
Before I send you out there, I thought we'd run down what's so new and improved about you. That 1800 tequila ad glorified bullying and using social pressure to make others conform. But I have to give a trigger warning here because these next set of ads glorify graphic violence and violence against women. Take a suck. Obviously, it's not your attitude. Let's begin with your sword work. We've altered your reflexes, agility, and coordination. You're welcome. I've always known exactly where to stick my sword, sugar tits. Your cyber eye allows you to see the world like never before. Can I see through your dress with this thing? No. Then who gives a shit? All right, man, we got them all lined up. Nail this little sucker. Come on, which one is he? Point to him. Uh, it's me. You should have gave it some more. I'm nasty. I don't think I can do this. It's easy, just point to him. You better not snitch on a player. No. He's wearing the do-right. Snitches get stitches, foe. Come on, it's the one with the four legs. You thought you was gonna catch no, no. me? Keep your mouth shut. No. Keep your mouth shut. No. I'ma get out of here and I'ma do you up. Keep your mouth shut. I can't do this! I can't do this! No! 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 She's just gonna do it. You're never gonna catch me! Remember when I mentioned subtle messages about race? Well, that last ad was far from subtle. Thankfully, that's not all there was this year. In 2013, I was able to find a number of ads that depicted men acting in kinder, more gentle ways. Ah, Lily, she pretty much lives in her favorite princess dress. And she's not exactly tidy. Even if she gets a stain, she'll wear it for a week straight. So I use Tide to get out those weak old stains and Downy to get it fresh and soft. And since I'm the one who has to do the laundry, I do what any expert dad would do. I let her play sheriff. I got 20 minutes to life. You are free to go. Would you rather play basketball in a big, fancy stadium or in a small driveway? Yes. A big, fancy stadium. Oh, really? Why is that? Because you could fit more fans in there. Oh, do you have a lot of fans? Yes. You believe in yourself? Uh-huh. That's right. No, I meant to raise my hand. Oh. It's not complicated. We are a team bound by blood. Nan's knitwear and our own imagination. A team that shares our resources and pools our talent. Where we each bring something different to the table. We don't see eye to eye on everything, like bedtimes and Brussels sprouts. But when we're in the game, we're in the zone, because the things we build together live forever. We conceive the inconceivable. Bridge the unbridgeable. And when we've built as far as we can fathom, I see a guy who will always go that extra brick. With me, let's build. And there you have it, my overview of Manly Ads for 2013. There are plenty of ads I didn't have time to get to, some of which I write about on my blog, HowManly.com. Head over to HowManly.com for more thoughts on masculinity in various forms of media. If you're interested in trainings or presentations on these topics or others that I cover, head over to my website, DwayneDefore.com, to learn more about the services I offer.